All right, my, my name is Gilbert Young. I'm an artist. And I'm originally from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, but I have been in Atlanta for the last 19 years. And I made this my home. Uh, and, uh, you know, because of the weather, I love it down here. And uh, I'm, I'm so glad I'm not up north right now in the cold weather. So, uh, again, that's who I am. Okay. So, um, tell me about um, how early in your life do you remember doing art and what was it? Oh, wow. Well, the... Uh, I remember doing art all the way back into the early days of when I was in like the first or second grade and uh, there was a teacher that recognized that I had some some talent and ability to draw faster than the other kids and so they put me on stage and uh, I drew the Easter Bunny. Uh, it was Easter time, and they had a little 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 uh, show that they put on called uh, I, I don't know what it was called actually, but but it was just I remember getting on stage and I was drawing this Easter bunny, and and you can look this up. And the teacher were playing a song called "The Old Master Painter from the Faraway Hills," and it went like uh, he painted the hills, he painted the daffodils, and it had a little little rhyme to it. And I remember being so excited because all my little friends saw it, you know, clapping and applauding. And I said, damn, this is what I want to do. Uh, I want to be an artist. Mm. Because all that recognition you get, and this is the only thing that I was good at, all right? Mm. So you felt that ego stroke. Yeah, so, was, yeah. so I, I, I went home and told my grandmother I was going to be a rich and famous artist mm. at the age of... Uh, at, at the age of uh, six or seven, mm -hmm. and about a year after that, uh, I, uh, one of the, one of the stories I love to tell about my grandmother is this: I, I came home, and I was excited because I had done this. I thought was well, pretty good drawing. I wanted to show my grandmother how how good I was, and I ran up the steps. And I remember that we lived on the second floor, and the, and uh, the kitchen was in the back of, of the building. And I can remember the, the it was almost time to get out of school, so it, was, it had gotten warm. And she was making biscuits, and I can I can see the big black fan in the kitchen window as I speak, and the wind and blowing out the hot air out of the kitchen. And she was making making these biscuits, little round brown skinned woman. And I said, Grandma, Grandma, look, look, look what I got. And she saw it, and she she picked it up, and it was upside down. And she was telling me how beautiful it was. And I, I was like, nah, this woman is lying. My grandmother lied to me, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, Grandma, it's, 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 it's upside down. How can it be beautiful? And she looked at me and she said, it is. She said, mm, let me see. And she turned it sideways. And she said, it's beautiful. She turned it right side up. And she said, it's beautiful. She turned it all the way back upside down and said it's beautiful and then she handed it back to me and she looked at me and she said let me tell you something young man if you did it and grandma saw it I don't care how I look at it it's beautiful I never forgot that that mm -hmm. was uh, that was uh, confirming my existence as a person as mm -hmm. an artist as the love that she had for me and all through my life I have had told that story and I could see that that uh, that that moment it's always some key moment in people's life that turn them or teaches them something greater than that, that they are. Mm, very cool. So now that you have the um, the taste of uh, recognition for your talent, uh, what you do? Did you follow art in high school and on to college? Yeah, I did exactly that. I followed it. Uh, unfortunately, I was the worst academic student in the world. <laughs> and they said, well, you know, this guy ain't going to never do anything with, with, with the academics. And maybe we ought to put him in a trade school where he can at least have something to do with his hands. And that was the greatest thing they ever done for me. Uh, I went to uh, Washington Shop uh, Junior High School, went on to Central, uh, Central High School. And uh, by the time I got out of school, I had won uh, possibly about 37 awards won won a uh, national award and one scholarship. So it was, and I learned everything. I mean, uh, I could build things. I'm, a, I'm an excellent carpenter. I, 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 could, I made things out of iron and, 
and, and it just, I did everything except uh, uh, I wasn't that good in automobile mechanics. Okay. So, uh, so you got a scholarship to college, to art school? Yeah, I did. And mm -hmm. I was so damn poor, I couldn't even go. Uh, I went for about six months, and I had to let that go because uh, I had no money. What was this? What school? Uh, Cincinnati Art Academy. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, I I let my scholarship go, and I I got a job. My mother had set set it up with some guy who was supposed to be this artist, and I met him, and he was a restoration artist. He was a real artist, I thought. And and I I got twenty dollars sweeping the floor a week, uh, coming three times a week. Mm -hmm. And so, um, when did you f uh, start selling artwork? Were you selling any of your pieces then, or well, I, I sold my artwork. The first artwork I sold, I was about in that between you know eight and nine years old. And I, I I painted a cat that I had, and uh, I went down to uh, the local bar down the street from me. And I sit out in front of the bar with my, my, my little picture, and I knew these guys get drunk uh, on Friday. And so, you know, you know, I got to remember, I'm a little ghetto kid down. I know the ropes. And I go down there, and I sit in front of them, and I sold the thing for about, I think it was about $2 or $3. What year was this? This was like 1948 or nine. Mm -hmm. okay? So, you know, that was big money. I, I mean, I could go to the show for a dime. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, the guy was drunk anyway. I don't know how good the painting was. And uh, so he gave me the two bucks, and man, I was like, okay, this is it. Now, I knew I had something when I got that two bucks, okay? And so, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's like you don't know how to do something. You just do it, and, and you do it consistently, and, and things happen. You know, when we got to be a teenager uh, with my friend Chuck, we used to go around and, and, and he would introduce me and uh, uh, for five dollars I, I draw your picture, right? You know, door to door. And he had a beautiful diction and, and he wanted to be an actor. And so he would put on these different characters and, and introduce himself and say, this is uh, my assistant, Mr. Young, and we would love to do a, a portrait of you for five dollars, a measly five dollars, my dear. And uh, and they gave us the five dollars, and I, I would I drew these pe people. Uh, a lot of times they had to put on their wig first, and uh, <laughs> but I basically drew the same woman over and over and over again. You know, as long as they had a small nose and arched eyebrows, it didn't look like they it didn't look like nobody I knew, but. They were happy, so that's that was a big thing. So you was hustling, you was, you was I was hustling. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so college, you got a job, and um, and what was the next step? What did what were you thinking well, that your career was going to be like? What was well, let next? me tell you about the job because it was uh, uh, I became uh, this guy. I dropped a painting; it cost three thousand dollars at the time, I believe, and I put a hole in it. And he was a restoration artist. And I had been working in the shop, cleaning the floors and stuff of that nature. And I saw what he did, and I was pretty good with my hand. And I didn't want to get fired over that little that $3,000 painting. Now, you got to remember, $3,000 in those days could buy you a car, a complete brand new car. It was even, uh, I think it could buy you two cars. Uh, it was 1961 when I did this. And, and I started, so he, he said, okay, well, I thought I was going to get fired. Instead of getting fired, he took me to the art store, bought me all the equipment, and told me to be in there every day. And I started re uh, learning how to restore artwork, which was one of the greatest gifts that I have uh, ever received from anybody. And he's a little white guy, and I, I, and, uh, I, I would go home and tell my mom, this man is the meanest white man I ever met, because every time I do something, he made me do it over and do it right, you know. And... Uh, Little did I know he was giving me a, a lifelong career because I was not only uh, studying art, but I was working with art every day. Uh, A.B. Clausen Company was the most exclusive store in the city of Cincinnati, and it had art gallery and, and it had decorators in the store itself. You go in there and you buy these expensive stuff, and, and I was, I was uh, traveling uh, around the countryside delivering all this great art to all these rich people. 
So I was like, the experience, it was a real training. Mm -hmm. It was, it was a better training, than school. It was better than school because mm -hmm. guess what? I learned value of color. I learned color, how to get color. I learned about glazes. I, le I had to imitate every detail of a painter that I was trying to restore. So if, if the surface was rough or smooth or glazed or mm -hmm. some colors, many artists don't realize this because they, 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 they never went to, went to the old school. There are colors that you cannot get by mixing. There are colors that you get by, by creating uh, 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 glazes, mm -hmm. all right? You, uh, transparency over, take one color, let it dry, and then come back with, a, with a, uh, a transparent color, and it bleeds through. And you get this illumination in the colors itself, which they don't, they don't teach you that in school. Mm -hmm.